Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my YouTube channel. Sorry, um, I have been a little quiet lately. Um just uh, personal reasons, that's all. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not going to go into it. But uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's uh, Paul Wilson here. Um I hope you're doing very well indeed. I am, I'm back, I'm back to normal now, so I like it so. Well, I've came here um, to do a review actually on um, a excellent pantomime that I saw twice uh, at the Sunderland Empire Theatre. Um, it was uh, the I've got I've actually got the program actually uh, just in front of me here, and it is. I'll hold it up. It's the program of Cinderella. Now, what can I say? What an outstanding production uh, done by UK produ uh, UK Productions. Um, it was, uh, you know, first time I saw when I saw it uh, for the first time. I was like, oh, come on, come on. Um, but yeah, absolutely outstanding. Um, it was. Um, I'll give you the cast and all that, and I'll tell you about next year's pantomime as well. Well, this year's actually. Um, but no, the cast itself was great. Um, it, most of it was UK cast, uh, from the northeast, I should say. There's about, I would say, there's three actually in the cast. Oh, was no, there was four actually in the cast itself. That was from the northeast. Um, absolutely brilliant, but um, I'll give you them anyway. Um, what we started with the show opened up with uh, a lovely, uh, the fairy godmother, and uh, yeah, you might you might know her. Uh, she's actually off the television, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, her name is Scarlett Muffet. Uh, she's first time she ever done Panto actually. Um, I thought she did a great job actually at uh, the Sun Down by a Theatre for the first ever time as uh, as a Panto. Um, at first actually, Sunderland actually didn't have a very good mother actually for for the role. Um, a person for the role actually, I should say, um, but. Um, Scarlett Moffat got in contact with the Sunland Empire and Martin Dodds. Martin Dodds, by the way, is the owner of UK Production Productions. Um, but yeah, Scarlett Moffat actually got in contact with the Sunland Empire and asked if there was a, a um, if there was a place available for her, which there was, and she got the very good mother. She did a great job. Um, you never know. Um, you know, because that was her first try. As uh, it's been actually in a pantomime itself, but you never know. Um, after looking at her performance, you never know she might creep up somewhere. Um, where I don't know. Next, we actually had um, we actually had the let's say from the northeast. Actually, we actually had. Um, well, this one actually, she's from Newcastle. Uh, well, actually, it's a boy. His name's Dan. Uh, he's he's a drag queen um, from the northeast. Uh, the drag name is Miss Rory. Uh, she was actually one of the ugly stepsisters uh, in uh, Cinderella. Uh, she played. Rowena Hardrop was the name, um, which absolutely looked fantastic. Uh, the set and the, you know the makeup and everything that Miss Rory actually had on was absolutely outstanding, and that was his first time in well, in a family panto, because Miss Rory does adult pantos. At uh, Boulevard, uh, which is up in Newcastle. So, uh, 
Next, we were joined by a lovely lady, which hasn't been in the North East before. She has played Cinderella before, but different places. Uh, it was Gemma Naylor. Um, she's not actually from the North East. Um, by the way, Scarlett Mufford, I think, is from Durham, I think, area. I think she is. Um, but no, Gemma Naylor isn't from the North East. Uh, but uh, she did a great job as... Uh, Cinderella, um, which I thought she, I'll tell you about some of the sets um, very shortly when I go through the rest of the cast, but um, he, uh, she did a great job as uh, Cinderella. You know, I know we still got a lot of pantos to come, well the rest of them actually to come this year. Um, I'll tell you towards the end in a minute or so. Um, the uh, actually Empire's Panto for next year um, because the Empire itself has actually announced two characters already uh, which I'll tell you who they are uh, and what role they'll be playing but there's a clue actually in this video so keep, keep an eye out but now going back to Gemma Naylor uh, she, she did a great job as Cinderella first time ever actually he'd been here uh, here in Sunderland. It's not the first time she's done Cinderella though. She's done it different places, but first time she's done it here in the northeast. So if she goes anywhere near you and plays Cinderella or whatever panto they are doing, just go and see her. Uh, uh, you'll enjoy it. Next actually we were joined by John Moses, uh, which is actually from Sunderland. Uh, he played Prince Charming. Uh, he did a good, uh, he, uh, he did an excellent job, um, which uh, if I must say. Um, next, we actually have a return actually to the Sunland Empire. Uh, he's been here. God, I'm trying to think the last time he was here before this. Um, I think it was Aladdin. I think it was. Uh, but the Empire decided to get him back, and there's a clue coming into into this video, but. I'll give it away shortly. Tom Wally, uh, which was the the character of Buttons. Uh, what can I say? Tom Wally was absolutely fantastic as Buttons. Uh, for a northeast person, I don't know where exactly in the northeast he's from, but I know he is from up here, uh, from the northeast. Uh, he did a great job, if I must say. Next. We actually had Duncan Burt, um, which is was Ruby, uh, Ruby Hardrop, uh, was the other's ugly stepsister. The ugly stepsister actually was fantastic because during the show, um, well, depending where you sat, put this way, when they came on, uh, Miss Rory and Duncan Burt. Um, you know, people thought, or oh, with a pantomime, you know, will they walk off the stage? Well, actually, they couldn't because um, the dresses and all that good stuff that they were wearing. Um, but put this way, yes, you you boys know. But what I'm gonna say, um, the first time I saw Cinderella actually this production um, I didn't get wet off Miss Rory and Duncan Burt but the second time it, it was in January actually when I saw for the second time it was on the Friday I decided to go because uh, for the first time actually I was I think I was I was quite back from the stage well, what I thought was for the second time, I thought, you know, just go a couple of rows. Not right at the front of the stage, of course. <laughs> no chance. Uh, but, like, a couple of rows back. But, you know, so... It's a, you know, it's not that far off. Uh, but, no, as soon as Miss Rory came on, actually, she got a little water gun out of that bag. Uh, she didn't actually get me with that water gun. Thank God, a little water pistol. She didn't get me with that, but she put another gun on the stage. Um, and yeah, she actually got me. 
Not that much, don't worry. <laughs> but no, the ugly stepsisters and all that was actually fantastic. First time I've I've ever saw Miss Rory actually in pantomime. Um, I thought Miss Rory was actually brilliant, and Duncan Burt was uh, fantastic as well. So, if you see Duncan Burt anywhere coming up, um, go go see them. Go see uh, Duncan Burt. Uh, Jimmy Johnston was um, Baron uh, Hardrop, uh, which was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I think he was the director uh, of the pantomime, um, but but it, it was brilliant. And uh, you know, one of the scenes actually that um, that I always it always gets to me actually when you go and see a pantomime, you know, I always like to see you know where. They always get the public involved, you know, like, he's behind you, but, like, with that part, um, there was the two of you stepsisters, um, Tom Wally, well, Buttons, I'm going to say, but it was Buttons, it was the two of you sisters, um, it was, I think, Baron Hardrop was there as well. But the rest of them wasn't, um, and it was, you know, it was like the skeletons actually that was trying to get them. Usually, it's, it's ghosts actually in pantomime usually, but it was actually the skeletons, and you know, it was it was brilliant. And the last person actually on this list is Dan Dini, um, which is uh, Sam uh, Ebenezer. Um, Dan Dini actually was brilliant, um, and uh, all that good stuff, but, you know, so some of the scenes of the show was, well, let's say, the set that UK Productions brought was absolutely outstanding. Best set I've seen, actually, for a pantomime. Um, but now that the show itself was, was good, uh, it wasn't on for that long, um, but like I said, I'm just saying actually see see where she's from um well put it this way I know Miss Rory is from Newcastle um because you, you know she does other shows as well you know like what's up on which is hers um and all that good stuff uh German Naila I don't think I don't think she is. I'm just trying to find out for you, ladies and gentlemen. But it, it was good, actually. Yeah, that uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson. I've just seen there. He was actually the director uh, of the show. Um, Dandini, uh, which was uh, Sam. Uh, he's a training uh, mode view academy of uh, well, he's a training uh, mode view academy of theatre arts. Uh, he's been in Whitley Bay. I think that's it. Yeah, he is. By the way, as, as well, I'm going to put in the description below. Some of this cast, by the way, is actually on Twitter. Uh, they're on Instagram, Twitter, and all that. Um, yeah, I've just seen there actually. Tom Wally's actually last appearance here at the Southern Empire was actually he was PC Pond in the Latin at the Southern Empire Theatre. But I'm just going to check the rest. The villages. Um, but yeah, going to going back to what I was about to say there, you're probably wondering actually what the next panto is that uh, the Southern Empire ever got. Well, I think uh, 
you know that you know the type of shores that always comes to the to, uh, to the empire is always brilliant, and they've got a extra special one uh, for this year. Um, well, let's say for coming Christmas 2020, and that is actually one of my favourite Disney ones out of them all, and it is actually Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Are you wondering, what did I mean earlier in the video? There's a little hint. Well, actually, let's see, two of the cast that was in uh, Cinderella is actually in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now, you'd be wondering which two, are you? Mm. Now, Miss Rory is going to be playing a... Nurse Rorina in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and also because he was absolutely outstanding yeah it's a boy, that's a clue Tom Wally is back as Muzzles um, we're not sure yet uh, on the rest of the cast members but it looks absolutely outstanding um, but with the show with, you know, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Of course, you need the Seven Dwarfs. Now, I think Sunderland will get... Um, I know the rest of the cast itself will be announced pretty soon, I would say. Um, but no, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm not sure what the next couple of shows that I'll be saying at the Empire. I know Snow White will definitely be one, because... I'd love to see that. You know, if it is as good as Cinderella was, Snow White will be even Snow White will be even better because Snow White will probably have they'll have a new director. Um, it could be anybody. It could be somebody actually in the show, or it could be somebody backstage. Because with Cinderella, actually, the director was Jimmy Johnston, and he was in the show of Cinderella. Um, but yeah, um, what I have got the rest of this year, by the way, um, I might be going down, I think it's London area, or so somewhere like that, uh, around August, so I'll be doing a couple of videos down there. Um, I've got as well, um, because this year is the 30th, I think, is it? Yeah, it is. The 32nd. Sunderland International Air Show this year. Um, I've got. Uh, I'm actually doing some videos from there, um, and the rest of them. Um, by the way, I have actually got a couple of more theatre reviews coming, because last year I actually saw quite a lot at the Empire. I saw shows such as. Um, was it, let's see, last year, Mousetrap, um, which I will be doing one on that, because it's um, it's a true story, that's all I'm just going to say on that, um, and I've, I've got some more as well, so, and all that good stuff, anyway, thank you for joining me, um, please subscribe, and, uh, you know, all that good stuff, you know, all that stuff and I guess I'll see you all very very soon thank you for stopping by uh, I will be as I said um, the cast that was in Cinderella they're actually all on I think all of them are actually on Twitter I th none of them itself will be on YouTube well actually you don't know actually I think Miss Rory's on YouTube if you to just type in Miss Rory uh, on YouTube itself, you will you might find some videos actually that she's in, you know, like she's she stars in Newcastle's Drag Idol, um, which starts up again on uh, tonight actually, uh, Sunday if you if, if you're watching this on another day, um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to show you again. 
that is my YouTube review of this spectacular pantomime. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.